So she moved in August 5th. Yes. She pays you nothing. Right. You were going to give her until August 14th. 14th. Did she pay you $1,500? Uh, no. She no. did not, but that was what was agreed to, right? Yes. And then you said she was going to pay you another 1500 towards the end of August? Yes. When? As a 31st. And she didn't pay that? No. And then how was the remaining $1,500 supposed to be paid out? The remaining was going to be paid in four payments in four months. It's what every month? I'm not going to do the math. I don't know. I don't have my calculator with me. Okay. She didn't pay you anything for the month of August. Do you remember these terms? Yes, ma'am. So she's correct on the terms? No. Okay, so tell me. The reason I couldn't pay the whole amount is because I was already living at a place that I had rent, like I had cash money to pay the rent for that month at okay. my friend's place. And then on the beginning of August, his father decided to sell the house. That's why I was looking for another residence. So I had the cash on me for the rent that I was going to pay on the first before okay. I found out his father was selling the house. Okay. And she is the one that wanted me to move in immediately. I wanted to move in at the end of the month. So she said that if I gave her what I had on me for my rent at the other place, which was a thousand, which I produced bank statements showing that I withdrew a thousand, that she would let me move in that day. I see a bank statement that says payment sent Venmo for a thousand dollars. How do I know it's I had her? to take it from my Venmo because I had a limit on how much I could take out from my debit card. But how do we know that's being paid to her? That's ma'am, you didn't receive a thousand dollars? No, I did not. And this is August second that yes, you made this withdrawal. Mm -hmm. What was the agreement? about paying off this balance? It was the 1500 on August the 14th and 1500 on August or October 21st. Your answer says, she said she would work with me. I could pay $1,500 now, another $1,500 at the end of August, which sounds like what she was describing earlier, and the remaining $1,500 in four payments in addition to my monthly rent. Yeah, the four payments was for the deposit because I paid the thousand and then the fifteen hundred in August, mm -hmm. so it left a two thousand dollar balance of my total moving cost. So rent was how much a month? Fifteen hundred. Okay, and you say you paid September's rent? Yes, the one thousand five hundred and nine is because she required money orders, so the money order fees on. I see that from your bank statement. Yeah. So you paid fifteen hundred dollars in September. What about October, ma'am? And then I paid October's rent plus a $2,000 cashier's Ma'am, is this typical that, I, I know you wanted to help her out, but do you normally do this where, and you're shaking your head no, who's this? This is my mom, your, okay. mom son. she never does that. Why do it now? This is confusing. Yeah, she's never really given anybody the benefit, I mean the benefit of the doubt like that, but she just felt sorry for her. From what I understand, I think she let her move in and let her pay the next month instead of that first month. So she was always a month behind. Okay. When you agreed to let her move in, you weren't expecting any money that month? I was expecting money on the 14th of that month. She said she was going to get paid the following week. So uh, I let her stay, and uh, it never materialized. And you have proof of a withdrawal, but you don't have proof that you actually paid her. I mean, they're exactly the amount of the money orders. I have money orders showing that they're purchased, like, for October and November. Mm -hmm. But September, I just sent them to her. Okay, were you paying utilities, too? I didn't. Um, Why? When we moved in, she didn't state that I would be responsible for utilities. I don't mind paying them, but I asked to be provided with bills, and she refused to produce them. Ma'am, is that true? The uh, Nevada Energy came straight to her. They were going to shut off the power. She didn't pay. It's written, again, everything, this is written on the contract. Uh, half of the water and all of the utilities, the uh, WM trash company, the electrical, and the water, and she didn't pay not a one, ever. And you're saying that the bills were sent to her? They were uh, sent to her, and we, they eventually came back to us since we're the landowners, and I tried to call her on the phone. She wouldn't accept my phone calls. I finally had to get an attorney to communicate with her, and he sent her a whole list of uh, the monies that she owed, and she didn't communicate with him either. Ma'am, you describe her harassing you. Was that because she was trying to get the money? Yeah, um, she stood outside of my door, banging on the door, calling me white trash and the B word until I called the police. And my mother was there. I have a statement from her as well saying that that is true. I did not hear about the utilities until that day. Did you open the door? I did, and she immediately started screaming at me and harassing me. Is that true, ma'am? No.